my research project was about uh, the relationship between coaching and well-being and how to fully understand that you have to be kind of mindful of the organisational culture in which those things are playing out. Uh, the thing that kind of key findings that came from that was the importance that a line manager plays in that relationship, uh, the importance that coaching has on uh, uh, impacting well-being both positively and negatively and the fact that to fully understand and appreciate it you have to be mindful of the organisational culture in which it's all being played out in to get a full appreciation of uh, the various aspects of it. I'm the Director for Safety, Health and Wellbeing at Royal Mail and what I wanted to do was to undertake some research which I could use in my day job, the professional doctorate is perfect for that because not only is it a, uh, an opportunity to kind of explore an area with some academic rigour but it means the findings that come out of that I can then utilise within my day job to for beneficial um, purposes for the, for, for the organisation and the individuals in it. The research aspect of it kind of gave to me um, credibility to what I actually thought as a practitioner. So I, I'm a big supporter of, of, of well-being and I, I do think that the key role coaching plays in well-being. Having gone through a professional doctorate and done it with some academic rigour and having had to go through the process of um, ethics approval, formal research, supervision, challenge etc. Uh, I, I kind of, it, it's taken what was my gut feel and, and brought it to life with some authenticity I think. Key things I'm taking away from this course are a better understanding of research and research options. Um, I'd never even touched on my ontological or epistemological position previously, so I now understand more about me as a researcher. Finally, I think um, the fact that this is the start of something, not the end of it, um, and, I, and I mean that, I'm not saying that in a kind of cliche sort of way, I genuinely mean it. What it's taught me is it's taught me a lot academically, and it put me in a stronger position for uh, doing further research or developing what I've already done in different ways into various papers, books, etc. So it's, um, I'm taking away kind of a new academic strength. I think the academic support was brilliant and in fact I phoned Elaine Cox after my viva to say to her, uh, firstly how much I appreciated the support, but secondly it was done in a very, very subtle way. So the programme, you know, you, you never take your foot off the gas um, and Elaine's unique um, style if you like is she keeps everything moving. So um, when we think back to when I think back to when we started the programme to finishing it, um, Elaine's kind of guided and steered it throughout uh, and it's yeah, been fantastic. I think because when you join the programme as, as the kind of year one as it were, you're coming into an existing programme, you've got kind of the, the, the kind of years above you, so you start to build a network there. Then um, through your supervisors, they can kind of tap you into a network, through events like the annual conference that ties you into a network. So yeah, I've, I've been able to use it as a, an opportunity to connect, to network and to kind of open up relationships. If you were to ask me what kind of added value I'd add out of this programme, not only has it been I've been stretched kind of academically, but I've come out of it with some fantastic new friends and I don't mean mates, I mean you know lifelong friends absolutely brilliant we've got some great I've got some great we've had some great times together um, we had a great experience when we went to Turkey on the uh, summer school uh, we're out tomorrow night for kind of celebratory day drinks and dinner absolutely brilliant so I kind of gained from it in, in, in a number of ways academically kind of personally and professionally